Hey, friends. There is a new scam in town. Well, technically, a new scam and then people that further perpetrate that scam by pretending they don't know it's a scam. But I'll focus on the first thing in this video, the scam itself. I actually have to compliment these scammers because in picking their marks, they actually are geniuses. The scam itself is stupid as hell, but the people they pull it on are predicated to believe any positive reinforcement that they get about their product, even if it's not real, because they get so little of it. Failing, starving artists and filmmakers. Now, hey, you can have a great product and it never get out there. It get completely rejected by the scene. That's not your fault. So I'm not saying that the failure of your product is what makes you a failed or pathetic animator, filmmaker, or artist. And hey, full disclosure, I have a failed late night animated show, which draws 10 times the views and profitability of anybody we'll be mentioning here. But nonetheless, I'm right there in the boat with you, champ, sport. You don't see me faking awards. And there's two reasons for that. One, it's a oh, shameful display. display. And two, my animated product is entertaining enough where people other than my personal friends watch. People that don't give a shit about me watch late night. And if I tried to scam the audience, with something stupid and obvious, I would immediately be called out for it. What really, to me, separates a failure from someone who's still trying is the failure is willing to sacrifice their honor to try and get what they want. On YouTube, this would translate to buying views, trying to emotionally manipulate members of your audience to give you money to pay for your business, things like that. Very dishonorable stuff. You don't see it a lot. But YouTubers are taken in by this scam as sometimes we try to make short films. A lot of people will make a short film, put it on YouTube, and hope that YouTube itself will promote that film, somebody will spot it, and discover them like girls in the 60s used to dream about in the mall. And I've got news for you, those model scouts, they were a scam too. The point is, artists are very easy to scam. They're egotistical, they're arrogant about their product, they will not hear a word of negative criticism, and they will go miles out of their way to avoid seeing the truth if the truth is they might be on the receiving end of a fake award. It is for that reason that I have to make this video today. There are a lot of people passing off fake laurels for film awards that aren't even real. Now, when I say that, they didn't invent the award. They very well could believe they've been given some award somewhere. I'm going to leave it to you, the viewer, to decide how stupid a mark has to be to believe this and then pass it on to their audience. All I'm gonna prove today is that these scams exist. You need to be careful for them if you're in this industry. And I'm going to pick one out and use it as an example. I'm even going to use the word that could get me sued. There is a word you can't use or you could find yourself in court. That word is scam. I'm gonna go ahead and use it. The Sun Film Fest, not the LA Sun Film Fest, which it's trying to mock an ape to trick people, is a scam. And I'm gonna prove it to you people here today. Now you might be asking yourself, Adonis Paul, this isn't what you do. You're a comedian, why do you care about this stuff? Well, because I know somebody who tried to perpetrate this scam on the people I know in real life. You see, if a YouTube creator perpetrates a fake award, which is the equivalent of stolen valor in the entertainment industry, claiming you've earned an award that you didn't earn, that can be seen as a very embarrassing and shameful thing. And if you want to pull that on a brony tier audience of about 40 to 50 people, that's none of my business. But if you try to put my friends under the impression that this award is real, then I have to fuck you up by fucking up the award itself. So let's take a look at the Sun Film Fest and filmfreeway.com. Okay, Pablo, you want to keep about a Coke can's distance between your mouth and the mic? Good. And action. They mark, or what kind of pendejo will fall for this? For any scam, you need a mark. So let's first talk about the type of person these scams are targeted at. Typically, these are hardworking people. 
They've created something and they want the world to see it, even if it's a horrific embarrassment to themselves. The first step is to identify where to find marks that are stupid, desperate, and looking to shop an inferior product around that can't draw any attention on its own merits even for free on social media. This is where sites like FilmFreeway.com come in. Now, just to be clear, not all festivals on FilmFreeway.com are scams. But as you can see with a simple-ass 30-second Google search of news and events, Film Freeway appears to come up a lot in the world of film festival scams. That's because Film Freeway is a pay-to-play social media platform where film festivals can advertise themselves and aspiring filmmakers will come, sign up, and shop the festivals. Film Freeway is just like any other social media platform. They're not scamming you. However, some users have figured out how to make money off of dumb marks using the platform. Again, to be fair to FilmFreeway.com, that is every social media platform. You have to watch your ass online. But to tell the whole truth about Film Freeway, they appear to go unregulated until a festival is reported to them as fake. Film Freeway boasts over 7,000 events, but according to this article on SubmittingTheFilmFestivals.com, the most obvious URL you should check before doing that probably, only 42 festivals have ever been banned from the site at the time they printed this. And this may well be due to FilmFreeway.com taking a percentage of the quote submission fee, as well as charging the scammers for membership in the first place. In addition to this, what technically constitutes a fake film festival is pretty vague. Some festivals take place online, which in those cases, they are technically not festival. Legally, that would be a gathering at best. Even if they claim a venue, technically, if three people show up, who are all probably in on it, and they take a picture together, boom, it was a real thing. Hey, spoiler, would you believe the Sun Film Fest didn't even do that? The point is, submitting your work to festivals can be both an expensive and dangerous game that multiplies tenfold for people who are desperate to get recognition. The starving artist, movie maker, people with an ego who are willing to believe any fucking thing if someone tells them they finally won something and are getting the recognition they believe they deserve. But that brings up another problem for the scammer. How do you keep the people around the mark from cluing them in? After all, not everyone can be as stupid as that, right? Well, first off, if they're involved in the project, they very well may be just as desperate and willing to believe anything while doing no research at all. Or more than likely, a quote artist can be a very emotionally fragile individual. Someone who tends to cry or flail with childish rage and emotion at absolutely nothing. Essentially, someone that nobody in their life can tell the truth to. We all know someone like that. You like them, but it's way too much trouble to argue with them or break bad news to them. This is the perfect mark they are looking for. Don't be that guy. Imagine an artist struggling with a product that he wants people to see. It's not really that good, but he believes in it though, and he won't hear a word about its quality from anyone. Completely embracing the philosophy that you have to be your own biggest fan. I kind of respect that. Mistakes were made, but this is an artist's work, and he's going to get it off the ground. Oh, if just we could get people to look at it. This is the sucker Film Freeway was made for. Here, pay us, and you can submit to thousands of festivals. You'll definitely be famous. Many articles have been published on spotting fake film festivals, and I'll list a few in the description as they're my citations, and also you can learn more. But of course, just googling scam film festivals will bring all this up. But I assume that someone desperate enough to do this kind of thing isn't going to go second-guessing their ill-gotten awards that real filmmakers and artists actually have to work for decades to obtain. Stealing a film award to filmmakers and people in the industry is like presenting a fake Medal of Honor. People will check this award you cite, and if it's fake, it will rob you of your credibility. No one's going to assume you're just too dumb to see these obvious signs, especially later down the road when this place doesn't even exist. When Sun Film Fest has been struck down off Film Freeway, and there is absolutely no proof of this award, where would this artist be then? The assumption will be it was your scam leaving you not only in a worse place, but anywhere from $15 to $300 USD poorer as well. Because you're such a sucker, you paid before you received the award? 
That's usually how the scam starts. A desperate filmmaker or animator Googling how to submit to film festivals or an email like the one here telling you that they found you. I know, it's clearly a form email, but like I said, artists can be very desperate when they want attention and validation. Especially when they don't deserve it because their product is crap. And since we're on the subject of FilmFreeway.com, I'll cover this now. Film Freeway should never be your only source of information on the award that you just purchased, or er, won, from a scammer. You can submit to legitimate festivals there, but it seems like there is just as many scammers from just as many countries. So now we're going to play detective. The game is simple. We're going to pick a film festival. I've chosen the Sun Film Fest at random. And I will use the links in the description and very simple common sense advice to see if this festival is a scam or not. The Sun Film Fest seems to have chosen this name to trick people who are looking for the LA Film Fest. Uh, you got to admire their pluck. Well, it's time to investigate, but first we need to know what to look for. A long call for entries window. If it's all year, it's probably a scam. First thing on every article about this and common sense tell you that they need time to watch movie, right? That's right, Pablo. The call for entries window is exactly what it sounds like. The time frame in which you're allowed to submit your work. This is roundly considered the easiest way to spot a scam by many experts cited in the articles in the description. Well, aside from it just saying awards in the title, that's a bad sign for a film festival. But since that's also the most known tell, I'm pretty sure the scammers are onto it by now. That's why I didn't make a whole section out of it. Typically, they don't want to sit around all year waiting on submissions and checking the mailbox every day and hurriedly watching films that they're expected to give an award to and judge. They have things to do, like choosing films and planning a damn festival. They give the filmmakers time to create while they plan the event. Think about it. For instance, if you used to work in live events, venues in production, you would know this. The Cannes Film Festival, event planning wise, is the exact same every year. It's just setting up a theater. It's for these reasons that the call for entry window is usually only 90 to 120 days before the festival itself. Therefore, a big red flag in the industry is festivals that let you submit work in open call for up to a year or more. An even bigger red flag is if they don't even care when the product was made. If a film festival says they accept submissions from, hey, they don't care, decades ago, who cares? It's probably not real. Even if you didn't read any of these articles or do any research, have you ever seen a film festival or award show that allows you to submit stuff from decades ago? Why would you throw an annual festival that allowed submissions from just whenever? Gone with the Wind would be like the ultimate heavyweight champion of movies. You would never move on. Wizard of Oz would just come in every year like the fucking Undertaker. You don't apply for a Lifetime Achievement Award. They come up with that one on their own. A little common sense goes a long way if you don't let a stupid artist ego get in the way. They're doing numbers to accept as many submissions as possible to make as much money as possible, and everyone gets a $50 JPEG. The rates for these things fluctuate. That seems to be about the median between eight and $300. And Sun Film Fest takes it the extra mile to charge you extra for perks. You can pay for extra consideration. Totally legitimate. Oh, what a dumbass. So how does the Sun Film Fest measure up? I would say they allow you to submit all year, but frankly, it does not appear they even post a call for entries window. I checked filmfreeway.com. And I checked their own really terribly made Wix website. Oh god, this can't be a good sign. You can just submit whenever. I mean, in retrospect, this probably shouldn't be such a big surprise, considering on Google the website doesn't even have a title. Oh great, just some random Slavic we Wix website. Yeah, just, oh, believe me, bro, you won an award. Ah, uh, it seems unfortunately for the Sun Film Fest, in this section they get a huge fail. Not only a huge fail, a supreme shameful display. A shameful display? Allow me to show you why. This is a legitimate film festival. Notice how they have photos of the people involved. You can find the organizers. 
And as you can see, it has clear dates and deadlines when everything must be submitted. There's an early bird registration, but regular is May through August. A three month window to submit that ends just 30 days before the event. Now let's go check on the schedule on the Sun Film Fest. Oh weird, the entire year to submit as well as the deadlines just being botted titles of films that are definitely not in this festival that are only put there for the purpose of increasing keyword SEO. What kind of dumbass sees this and isn't immediately clued in that they're dealing with something that may not be legitimate? I mean, unless Quentin Tarantino, Martin Scorsese, and Peter Weir are submitting 20 to 40 year old films uh, to a film festival on the same level as your pathetic ass. Oh, and if you look at the rules, it says you can't submit films to this festival that you do not own. So no, they're not just showing Reservoir Dogs and The Departed and Shawshank Redemption and Dead Poets Society. These are botted titles of blockbuster films. So Google will send you to this Film Freeway page. Yeah, it's a stupid idea. And stupid people fall for it too. Again, this might be a giant red flag if you have two fucking neurons firing in your head. But probably not if you don't care and you're just desperate to tell people you got an award, even if it's a fucking lie. Now, I'm not calling the Sun Film Festival a scam at this time, but I'm saying that the appearance is not good. But hey, there are other criteria, right? This is just one fail. Pablo, the mic's on. Lack of verifiable history. Otherwise known as ever heard of Google, asshole? You say that like a Chinese. So we have questions about the legitimacy of the film festival. No big deal. Surely there's some proof they exist. It says right there on their page they've been in operation for three years now and they have 15 years of experience in the film industry. Of course, you can't find who the organizers of this event are to verify that, nor do they tell you if it's a collective 15 years. Have they all had, are there three of them that have five years of experience? Five people with three years of experience? 15 with one year of, no, we don't, we don't get to know that stuff. That, they don't want to tell you that because it's totally legit. But I guess the first thing to do is simply search the festival. In the case of Sun Film Fest, the only things you will find are the Film Freeway page, their terrible Slavic Wix site, and this IMDB page which is completely empty aside from being gay. That's not a good sign. So complete fail when looking for legitimate information and reviews other than the four reviews on their Film Freeway site that really can't be verified that it isn't them posting it. Next, since the Sun Film Fest is not an online festival, they very specifically say the reason they charge you up front is to focus on the live event as if that made sense, is to look for photos of the previous year's events. After all, they said that they've thrown two big film festivals previous to this. They're the Sun Film Fest. They focus on the live event. A live event in the countryside in Spain. We'll get into that in a minute. So I did look for photos and uh, they offered these images of the previous festivals. The backs of people's heads in a dark and generic possibly stock photo theater. No red carpet photos? Nobody even just standing around and taking pictures of themselves? No references of anybody anywhere online? Anywhere? I searched Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Google. Nothing? Just this? Well, since I'm here at Google, I'll go ahead and use Google image search. And we find it's quite possible that these are pictures of a theater in Tanjahor, India. Now, this may not be an Indian theater. This could be any, any theater, to be honest with you. But it doesn't appear to be the Spanish countryside or the Salvador Dali Museum. The only form of social media the Sun Film Fest has is an Instagram, where they simply post these same cheaply made award images shown on filmfreeway.com, and that's it. But hey, the Instagram isn't for pictures of the events. The Instagram is your prize. After, you know, two weeks, 10 business days, they'll put a cheaply made gift that you paid for on their Instagram that nobody looks at. Go ahead, try to find some comments or likes on any of these. 
I got tired of looking after about an hour. That's your prize. That's what you won. They put you on their Instagram. Oh, now I see why Martin Scorsese and Peter Weir fuck with these people. That's serious clout. Oh, move over cons. Get fucked Sundance. The Sun Film Fest is here with some 22-minute flash cartoons that are going to change the world. There is no verifiable proof, aside from these stolen theater images and a film freeway page that has movie names instead of submission dates, in addition to a Wix website that this organization even exists. Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, things you would go to if you wanted to promote a festival. Nope. Just an Instagram that also suspiciously lacks these theater images. Almost like they don't want to post them where people can comment and call them fake. Or I guess for any other number of reasons. I'm just saying it's strange that every other image on FilmFreeway.com was transposed to their Instagram, except for the theater. So how does Sun Film Fest measure up? Probably fake photos of the backs of people's heads in a theater that Google search says is in India? shoddy website and a film freeway page that looks like AI made mistakes on it? Do I even need to dignify this with an answer? They fail through the floor. Holy crap. What kind of tarted dumbass would fall for this? Who in their right mind would see this and then give them money and a copy of your film just to get an award that you can never present with your work because it'll delegitimize it. Lose your credibility possibly even brag online and get humiliated. What immense asshole would ever buy into such a pathetic and shoddy scam? A few. Probably somebody willing to just buy an award. Probably somebody who would just buy views. Like I said, artists are so egotistical and hard to deal with sometimes. Not only will they forego common sense, the people around them usually have to walk on eggshells to avoid a childish temper tantrum. Or they're all a bunch of pussies. Who knows? It's an artist thing. They don't even have a staff or contributors page to show you the organizers. They just have an interviews page where they simply publish interviews with indie filmmakers you've never heard of from countries that don't matter. Oh, hi. Instead of who works here and creates this festival, here's what looks like a staff page, but is actually an interview from some foreign filmmaker who made one documentary on YouTube. Amazing. Even the contact page sunfilmfest at gmail.com you can't make this shit up all right the mic's on pablo prestigious location i wonder why a film festival in europe is interested in my stupid flash cartoon two important notes here film festivals in prestigious locations have contracts and have become staples they run for years. If you hear about a new festival in one of these locations, that could be a red flag. New York, LA, Paris, Nice, Cannes. For instance, if there's a film festival with a 9.99 euro entry fee being held on the coast in Spain that has supposedly been running for only three years, you might want to ask for some verifiable proof of legitimacy that this thing actually exists. After all, it's not like a poor starving artist from America living in near poverty will get that money. If they had throwaway Europe trip money, they could probably get their product seen by themselves. In an article from Hollywood Reporter, we see how this kind of thing can play out. Landing on the morning of October 29th, Marine Angel checked into her Airbnb, a spare room in the somewhat unglamorous west of London town of Slough. I don't know how to pronounce that. Perhaps best known as the setting of Ricky Gervais original, The Office. Oh, cool. And they got ready for the red carpeting open night reception, where she would be able to mingle with fellow filmmakers from the 22 other shorts taking part in the event. But Mary and Angel still hadn't heard back from the organizers about Eternal Waltz's exact screening time and wanted to invite friends. With no other contact except the solitary email address she'd been coordinating through, she rang the university. There was a problem. The school knew nothing about the Euro Cinema Film Festival, and it certainly wasn't taking place within its walls. Mary Angel was outraged. She fired off several angry emails before eventually receiving a rather short reply October 31st, a day after the festival was supposed to take place, saying that there had been some issues with contacts at the venue, something denied by the university, 
which contacted the London Metropolitan Police's fraud department. As you just read, sometimes people show up to these fake events to get their awards, spending thousands in air travel and accommodations just to find out it was a scam to get 10 bucks American out of them. They do this to thousands of desperate ass pathetic filmmakers and animators. With the help of marketing from FilmFreeway.com, in many cases, according to every source that I was able to find. So how, how does Sun Film Fest measure up? Well, Sun Film Festival claims to be held in beautiful El Alto Ampurdan, Cataluna, Spain. Did I say that right, Pablo? Hey, it's close enough. I mean, I guess it's possible. If they charge 9.99 euros to enough suckers. Maybe they can pull it off. Let's have a look around. Remember, this is a small indie festival for independent filmmakers that's so shit they charge you 10 bucks to enter. So massive that they target YouTubers with under 5,000 subscribers to give awards to. They claim to have sponsors, but show none on their website or Film Freeway page like all the other festivals do. But hey, let's go look anyway. This could be legitimate. I mean, they might be doing something small and humble. Get the fuck out of here! These amazing geniuses actually get people to brag online about being dumb enough to believe this? If I was the asshole that believed that all this shit was real, and furthermore, tried to perpetrate that scam under my audience, I would feel like an honorless piece of shit right now. Boy, would I not like to be in that asshole's shoes on that particular day. This shit is starting to look like the Nigerian prince scam of filmmaking. For the amazing low price of 10 euros processed on FilmFreeway.com, your 20-minute cartoon short is whisked away to one of the most beautiful and expensive vacation destinations in the world. Home of the Salvador Dali Museum as well, which is probably where you'll go if you travel there, because I'm starting to get the feeling that there isn't a fucking film festival in sight. Hey, call me a cynic, but what type of egotistical, dumb asshole playing nice to people's faces to get money out of them while trash-talking them behind their backs would believe any of this? Yeah, man, I can't get anyone to watch my shit for free on social media, but for 10 bucks, you can make me a European film legend. This is a quote from some fucking asshole. Probably. Maybe. Okay, I made that part up. I mean, it's possible someone will go here, but it's very unlikely it'll be any of the broke indie filmmakers from America. Good luck if you try. Hey, but what about the venue? That would tell us something, right? Expensive town, but shit venue. Well, despite this being year three of this festival existing, I could find zero, count them zero, references to any venue past or present. They don't even have the good sense or courage to lie to you. No photos of people attending the festival, no staff, no news, no articles, not even a damn blog from a winning filmmaker. In fact, very few people are dumb enough to even display that they won this fake bullshit award because what they're saying is I got scammed and I am proud of it. I'm a dumbass, I feel like a dumbass, and the only way out of feeling like a dumbass is to fool the people around me that the scam is real as well. The most I found were some botted auto posts on Twitter shared from Film Freeway about the LA Sun Film Fest, the legitimate film festival, the quote, Sun Film Fest is aping to scam idiots. All right, Paul, it's pronounced verdict. Take 14. Action. So what is the verdict? God damn What do you think it is? This is a completely fraudulent award and only a fraud would accept it. I went to r slash filmmakers and asked this same question and gave them the Sun Film Festival's name and their Film Freeway page. That's it. I wanted to see, without giving any of this information to other people, what the reaction would be to it. Not one person thought it was legitimate. So at least if you see someone posting awards from the Sun Film Fest, you can rest your mind at ease about one thing. That person is a stupid fucking dumbass. Stupider than Reddit answers. Which I am of course kidding about because r slash filmmakers had some pretty informative things to say. I received many answers on this thread, which is still up if you'd like to go look at it yourself. Please feel free. But the one I'll highlight here is from the Wyoming Film Festival. Festival here. 
We made a post about film festival red flags and green flags filmmakers should be aware of before submitting. Hey, thanks. I actually read that before I even met you. Great article. It is not our place to say if a festival is a scam or not. However, after reading your post and looking at them on Film Freeway, we will say this. Information is difficult to find. Handing out awards after payment. Paying for additional perks and to be considered, in quotes, in additional categories. No information of a live screening. Three years old on Film Freeway, but claims to be 15 years old on their website. All these things fit in our red flags category. Yes, that was a reply about the Sun Film Fest on r slash filmmakers showing us only a desperate, unprofessional dumbass would fall for such a thing. So even if you're thinking, oh, okay, AP, not everyone uses Google reverse image search and does forensics before submitting a film, that is not the case. Someone who knew nothing but the name of the festival came up with this. This is common sense stuff. No organizer listed, no staff, no venue. You gave these people money? If the person who made this mistake ever actually worked in live production and event planning, there's no way he could be that stupid. In that specific hypothetical case, that asshole would know all of these red flags because he's used to looking for them when not getting scammed taking jobs. If, for instance, hypothetically, this person ever worked for a production company or owned one, I would have to assume that they were legitimately passing off a scam to their audience, or that their brain has been damaged since I last saw them. That person, again hypothetically, would never have sent a crew to that event. I don't know. I don't know what the problem is with people who believe this crap. I just know it was objectively simple to figure out it was a lie. Look, much like the Wyoming Film Fest, I can't really verify if the Sun Film Fest is a scam. I can just tell you that in about 30 minutes, the unanimous opinion from everyone who saw it is it's a scam. And that 30 minutes also includes the time it took to read the articles cited here. So it doesn't take a lot of time or a research genius to figure these things out. In fact, on a site made for just this, submitting to filmfestivals.com, they even offer a template email that you can edit for any film festival email solicitations you receive. It's so common, there's a form letter for you to send back to them. And it is a very enlightening read. I will include it now. Dear festival director, thank you for reaching out to me from the Sun Film Fest. I appreciate your interest in my work. After reviewing the information you provided in your email, I checked your website and your Film Freeway page. I have several concerns and reservations about the festival and its workings. Perhaps you can address them for me. Firstly, I note a lack of personal information about the festival directors and jury on the festival's website. For instance, on yours, there is no staff, director, or jury information on any Sun Film Fest website, including your Film Freeway page. Transparency and credibility are important factors when considering participation in a film festival, and the absence of such information raises doubts about the festival's legitimacy. Secondly, upon visiting the festival's website, I found it vague and limited in terms of its content and the details about how the running of the festival. That English isn't great, but we'll move on. The overall appearance of the website, along with a generic email address, gives the impression of a potential spam or scam festival. Yeah, in the case of Sun Film Fest, it's a Wix website from some Slavic country barely functioning and looks like trash. Their email address is sunfilmfest at gmail.com. Their Film Freeway site not only lacks a schedule, they replaced the schedule with generic names of blockbuster films from decades ago to increase Google SEO. As an artist, it is critical to prioritize trustworthy platforms and events over those looking to make money out of unaware or completely stupid asshole filmmakers. Thirdly, it is always questionable when a festival offers more than 20 categories. Sun Film Fest has 34! That way they can spam more submissions from more people year-round, pocket your money, and give you a JPEG. A JPEG that if you Google image search, not very many other people are stupid enough to perpetrate! You fucking idiot! Additionally, the only prize available to the filmmakers is selection laurels, PNG, and downloadable certificates, PDF, for the winners. 
Wow, I wonder what those look like. And if you have one, you probably should not pin it to your social media or tell people that we know mutually in real life that you won something that you know you fucking didn't. Or I wouldn't be having to make this video right now, would I? Considering these concerns, I kindly request you to provide me with more information about the festival and its organizers. It would be helpful to have details about the festival's history, past editions, notable participants, or winners and any affiliations with reputable organizations within the film industry. This information will assist me in making an informed decision regarding my potential participation. If I do not receive a satisfactory explanation or a clarification regarding these concerns, I will inform Film Freeway about my experience and observations. They take such matters seriously, and they may consider taking appropriate action, which may include the removal of your festival from their platform. And anybody, just a note, who is uh, showing these Stolen Valor Awards will not even have a citation for their bullshit award. You'll be happy to know I have personally reported Sun Film Fest to do just that. I look forward to receiving the requested information at your earliest convenience. So the Sun Film Fest is guilty of literally everything in the letter. But those things in the form letter are just common sense, right? You just don't go sending people money who email you and actually expect to get something out of it, right? One guy I know did. One guy who, in addition to stealing jokes, decided to take shots at me with a parody character that I named. Again, another stolen joke. And what would that complete sucker do after being confronted with this pile of fact? Well, he's either going to cry or he'll deny. Most likely pretend he knew the whole time and he was just kidding. Or that he was the victim. That's even worse. But if that's the case that you knew, why, why would you send some Slav scam artist money? You could have made your own stupid fake ass JPEG. And why without a sense of irony did you present this to your audience as a real award? For these reasons, let's assume he's just a fucking dumbass to miss all of this. Let's just assume there was no malice involved, he's just an idiot. Desperate for some manner of success, but not able to achieve it on his own or in present company. And what immeasurable ninny would fall for this out of desperation and attempt to pass the illegitimate award on to their audience. An act that, if done knowingly, would end your career. If you only had, let's say, 20 to 50 people watching and they found out you tried to pull another fast one, that probably wouldn't be great. You surely wouldn't act surprised on social media for an award that you know you paid $10 for, right? That's an artist for you. That's an eternal victim. I have news for you, old buddy, who thinks the high road involves stealing people's jokes and taking shots at people you claim to make peace with. You didn't win shit. According to you, I was cheapening your brand despite you utterly tanking after I left. But do you know what I would not have done? I would not have gotten taken by this bullshit amateur grift. You have been bragging about getting scammed by some fucking slobs. Which, to be fair, makes you no different than the U.S. government right now, so this probably isn't that big of a deal.